Hello and welcome everybody to 2008. Anybody recognize this? In 2007, they came out with Spider-Man 3, starring Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. And so the next year, TaylorMade was like, hey, we're gonna come out with a Spidey putter. This is the Monza Spider putter. I think it still has the Rasa branding on it. Yeah, Rasa branding on the back. You'll see pictures at the end. So this is a massive mallet putter. It is an implement of mass. The tour that came out a few years later is a little bit smaller. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see the difference. I'll probably roll in another picture. But it is huge. Let me have some, I have some other comparisons here while we're doing comparisons to introduce how interesting this mallet putter is. Here's the Ping Dock 17 the standard by which all clubs are measured. People are like, no, it isn't. Maybe you want to measure it against the, I don't know, ping answer putter. So you can see, you know, obviously a large mallet putter. So this, this is kind of the template for a lot of the new tailor-made putters. Like instead of these little rocket ship engines back here, they have little stumps, little stumpy spiders and the head seems to have shrunk in size so interesting spider and iconic when these people see these immediately they think oh tailor made spider putter and there's been a million knockoffs of these so let's get this on the review table and have a closer look very clear what we're looking at here on the sole it says rasa then it says tailor made and then there's this little crest right here where it says Monza, like it's a race car, but it's not a race car. And then it says Spider. Underneath the Spider is the TaylorMade. Is that a hawk on that? Like a, a Hawkeye? I don't know. Whatever it is. Maybe that's the Monza logo. And then there's this bright orange ring around this sole plate. So we have the black guts here. Then we have this, it looks like kind of a chrome gunmetal style frame around the outside of it. Pretty interesting. As we spin around, I'm gonna show you the face insert right here. Can you see those uh, fun grooves right here? Again, with this Hawk TaylorMade crest logo right there. AGSI plus the AGSI, the AXI, the AXI, whatever, face insert. So we're gonna spin around here. You can see the little frames right here. You can put your finger through here. The little rocket engines with the torque screws in there, the weights that are used for the soul, for the high MOI. And then we have the Rasa emblem back here as well on the aft portion. So absolutely lovely. Like I said, there's tons of air in here and you can see the spider pattern right here. Kind of ball shape, ball shape with li straight lines everywhere. That's what people are looking for these days, I guess. Our alignment aids, nothing on the top line of the blade style face right here. It's pretty interesting. And then it looks like a single bend shaft. That's pretty interesting. Stepped shaft, and then you can see the win aftermarket grip. So it is easy to identify and it is rather large. Let's get this off the review table and hit a few putts with it. Looking down at this, it doesn't look that much bigger than a spider tour. It's side by side, obviously you can see a difference, but here now, just like holding it independent of any of those, uh, it uh, it sure looks just like a spider putter, a big putter, and it feels really stable as well. Let's see how the face feels, this insert here. I remember it feeling pretty soft. That was a little bit pacey perhaps, but alignment was good. Uh, this does have lines on it, unlike some other spider tour putters I've seen without any alignment aids or lines on it. Uh, yeah, and it feels very stable. Let's try to not hit one quite so hard here. Nope, that one was pretty pacey too. And that is my concern with any large mallet putter. For me personally, my opinions and my feels, hard for me to feel confident like at a 30 foot putt with a larger putter. There was one that was eased in. So I could get used to it. I mean, it feels like a a putter I could get used to. So this putter is a big heavy putter. It feels fine for a big heavy putter like so many other big heavy putters. My complaint 
is that I feel like I don't get enough pace control with big heavy putters. And the feedback is also kind of eh, not so sure. So might be a great putter. I'm sure it is. People have won, what was it? Uh, I think in 2008, somebody won the Phoenix Open with it. I mean, it's not like a new idea that somebody's going to win a tournament or do well in golf with a spider putter. But for me, this isn't it. I don't like this putter. The reason why it's important and the reason why I'm making this video is because this is kind of a historic putter. This put this idea and concept on the map for TaylorMade. And it was just wild and new. It's like, let's put rocket ships on it and we're going to blast off into space. And everybody was so excited about the new style of putter. And it's very rare that we get that genesis, right? Where, you know, we get this new idea. So let's go back to some of so my favorite topics. Citizen Kane, okay? Citizen Kane came out, Casablanca, that era, okay? Citizen Kane, the cinematography in that is amazing. It's amazing the way that they use, you know, the left to right cinematography, storytelling, the way they use juxtaposition, all of that, okay? The way that they tease the end at the beginning. You ever seen a film where they do that all the time? And that was all Citizen Kane, all right? So it was very, very influential. But I would never recommend, I don't even want to go watch it. It's kind of a boring movie. You know, am I going to tell, you know, people who are interested in film, I love, love film, They're like, you should go watch Citizen Kane. If they come to me and say, I'm in a cinematography class, I will ask them, did you watch Citizen Kane? But other than that, I would never recommend it because, let's face it, it's a slow, boring movie. Very influential, yes. Exciting? Probably not. This, okay? This is influential. But me personally, I'm not excited. There was lots of buzz when it came out. But I personally am not excited about putting this in my bag, then or now. It's just like, that's huge. Like that thing is, there's so many curves on it. It's distracting. To me, it doesn't suit my eye. But that doesn't mean it's not a great putter. And it doesn't mean that it didn't kick off, what is it now, 2024? It doesn't mean that it didn't kick off, you know, 14 years of 16 years of a new putter style. Yeah, now they have the stumpy one with the little stumps instead of the rocket blasters on the back. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's worth talking about the history of it in 2008. You know, a new putter design came out. That's very popular. So excited to read your comments and hear your memories with this putter and or any of the spider, they call it piter, spider series putters. As usual, huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Another way you can support this channel is visiting my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you everybody for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.